Uh, a medium coffee. Any cream or sugar? Uh, five creams, no sugar. We're headed to Turlock to get um, a vintage mannequin that I had put on layaway for the girls' room. Oh, we're going to McDonald's. Violet wants McDonald's. So I'm just gonna grab me a coffee since it's my favorite coffee. It always um, is your favorite coffee? Mm-hmm. Mm. So anyways, that vintage piece is, I think, gonna be adorable in the girls' room because I'm gonna put a, um, I wanna find an ant antique tape measure to put around the neck and just kinda set it in the corner of the girls' bedroom. And we already have like a, bedroom. Or an antique dress. Yeah, it's just gonna be cute, I think. So stop. that's what we're doing today. We're just grabbing that, grabbing some coffee, and then we'll go home and we'll show you the mannequin. Um, yes, can I get a medium coffee? <coughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, a medium coffee. Any cream or sugar? Uh, five creams, no sugar. Okay, you guys are seeing this after the mom's day out, and I'm showing you everything that I bought that day, minus the mannequin in the background. All the little stuff right here, really excited to show you guys. Um, some of it was from antique stores, and then a lot of it was from like thrift stores. So I'll just randomly pick, and then I should remember where I got where, uh, what. I should remember where I got it from. These little copper trays were like 50 cents, but they were half off, I think. 25 cents, I believe. They might have even been 10, but um, Sarah Thomas found six of them. And she gave me three, and then Mary Ann wanted one, so I gave her one. And I'm going to use this for my plants on top, for my windowsill in my kitchen. So, super cute. This was from an antique store, and it was like $8.00. But it's super cute. I love the whole shape of it. And I figured it would match my green bottle that I got from the Goodwill. My sister Carrie has been telling me like, I have a hard time paying prices for things at antique stores when I can go to the Goodwill or thrift centers and find them. And I just be like, yeah, I just pick it up anyways. Well, I've been going thrift store and Goodwill and more. And it's crazy what I find for what I would have normally paid like $75 for, $65 for, and I'm getting them for like a dollar or under a dollar. It's crazy. So this is from an antique store. This was uh, under 50 cents. It was from the Habitat for Humanity in Sonora. I love it, I love, I'm not gonna do anything to it, but just kind of wipe the dust off the bottle. But yeah, this is gonna go with my collection of old bottles. This was $2, but it was cheaper than that. And I have an odd obsession with pitchers. So I have several of these that I use for like creamers or just whatever. So yeah, under $2. This was 99 cents, but it was cheaper than that. It has the cork in it. And I thought it was just a super cool bottle for so cheap. And even if I don't like it, I can always just take it out of the collection that I have of old bottles. So it's not that big of a deal. This says $1.99, but it was cheaper than that. Thought it was super cute. It's even rusted inside this little, the neck part of the bottle. This was 
$1.99. It says $1.99, but it was cheaper. So I got that. And I thought I could get those little tiny candlesticks that are like the pinky size and put in there. I thought it'd be cute. I just gotta find the candles. I bought me a Starbucks. Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. I got a salted mocha caramel, but it's a little sweet for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna finish okay. it. This book, but I am actually, Marianne gave me a good idea. She was said she's seen where they tear the cover off the book and then just kind of um, use that as the cover being torn off. So I was like, that's a really good idea. And then while I was antique shopping that day, I noticed several stores would have like layered books with, uh, I'm gonna do it right now. harder than I thought. So they would tear the cover off the book and then just double stack it and tie twine around it. And so when Marianne gave me that idea and then I noticed in several stores they were doing that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up cheap books, even that don't look old, but this is gonna look super old with, it's gonna look super old with this book, which this book is old, was $2 while wow, the date in here written to someone, it says property of so-and-so and it gives their address in San Francisco and it says 92176. Isn't that cute? Like I think stuff like that's super interesting to me. This is a book about belt conveyors and belt elevators. Like I love it. So I might not tear him off. I think I'm going to just do it like this because it kind of matches the blue on the book. This blue matches this blue. So I'm just gonna tie, twine around it and then have a little set, you know, a setting thing. So yeah, if you see a book that doesn't look old on the cover, thank you, Marianne, for giving me the idea. Tear the cover off and then you have a book that looks old. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. All right, moving on. The soup terrain I showed you that I stained to look like crazed ironstone that I got for, that I got in a set for like $13 for everything, but the ladles broke. I found one for like a dollar at a thrift store. So I'm just gonna add some stain to this, put it in there, and it'll look just like the matching set, so. This was under a dollar. It's not old, but I think it's super cute and super plain. So I have an odd obsession with these little pictures right now, so. Another old bottle actually has like the uh, ounces and things like that on the side. Super cute. This basket was $1.50. Um, it has an ugly brown on it that just is taped on, it looks like. So I'm gonna tear that off. Then it had this ugly little leather strap intertwined, but that can just totally be snipped off and it's an adorable basket. Baskets, love baskets. Carrie really liked this basket and I got it, it was fit. 50 cents, but cheaper than that. Really cute, odd shaped little basket. Almost looks like an, a basket you would put eggs in. So, um, I don't know, I thought about giving it to her for Christmas. Um, my sisters and I this year for Christmas are doing a $10 Goodwill challenge for each other for Christmas. And um, I already picked up Carrie something, so I thought I might add that to her little collage of Christmas gifts I'm giving her. Okay, you guys. I about died. I had went through the dishes. Everyone was shopping, so I went back through the dishes again. Iron stone, a gravy boat, 10 cents, because it was chipped right there. 10 cents. It's even starting to craze up a little bit. I, I was like, oh, this is my favorite find of the day. 10 cents. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up there with my sugar bowl that I got for $1.49. I got these brass little tiny candle um, sticks for like 10 cents. Super cute. I love them clustered up. Iron stone plates by Johnson Brothers. Made in England, 10 cents. This one. Then I got this set. They had a stack of them, but I didn't buy them all. I just wanted like 
I probably should have got them and gave them out as Christmas gifts, huh? I'm just gonna double layer them like that in my hutch. Or not in my hutch, in my kitchen hutch. So, oh, I did. I picked up two more, that's what I did. So I'm gonna do a set like this. I forgot. Then I picked up two more. They're all crackled. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm gonna give these as Christmas gifts. This little tiny pitcher was $3 and it was made in England. It's adorable. This was $8 and this is Ironstone. And it's crazing up and it's like crackling up as well. Super cute, I love the little appliques, appliques there. So I could put like a little plant in there, like a moss ball. I could just leave it plain. You can do so much with things like this. This was $5. And it says bronchitis liptus, bins, bins bronchitis liptus. It's an old medicine bottle. So I'm gonna put that in the bathroom. And it was like three or five dollars, whatever I just said, I can't remember. But yeah, super cheap. Super old bottle, I think I paid eight dollars for this one. It's super cute. It says celery, Com Com celery consumption is what it says. So I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. Isn't it cute? When I seen that it said that, I was like, okay, that has to go in my kitchen. And it was cheap. So, well, it wasn't cheap, cheap, but it was cheap, sort of. These are from the 1800s, the gentleman told us. He says you can always tell by the bottom of the candlesticks, like how worn it is on the edges. And we were laughing because there was a pair of candlesticks from the 1700s that were $50. But when he told me about these, do you see that thing right there? That's called a pop-up. So when you're done burning your candle, you just push that up and the candle, it pushes the candle up. So they're called pop-ups and they were made in the 1800s. So I bought them just for this feature right here. So I bought these instead of the 1700 century candle because of the pop-ups. He says they're, these are very hard to find. $20 for the pair. How cute is that? This is one of my favorite finds too. And I thought $20 for both is super cheap. I've paid upwards of like $37 for candlesticks. A little basket. It doesn't have a price on it, but I bought this from the Habitat, so it was probably 25, 50 cents. Super cute. I don't know what's in here, I've forgotten, let's see. Oh yeah, I love this. This is Ironstone and it's crazed and it has a stamp on the bottom of it as well. It's all crackling, it's crazed. Super cute. I love this right here. It's gonna be super cute with my other piece of ironstone, and then this one, so yeah. This was $20, and if you can't tell on camera, it's super heavy, and it sits on legs. Whoops. So imagine this is my hands at table, and it sits like that, and it has one, two, three, four, five candle sticks, and it's super heavy. So I thought this was really neat too. I'm gonna sit it on one of my nightstands when I get a nightstand refinished. This was like 10 cents, 25 cents. I don't know if I'll keep it. I might put it on the patio with a plant inside of it. I don't know. Okay, we walked into an antique store and we were all like, what is this? What's, the store smells so good. Like everyone was saying it. And um, my sis, me and, Someone, I can't remember who, asked what, what makes, what's making your store smell so good. And she was telling us about a candle she burns and she says they are so popular she sells them every day. She can't even hardly keep them in stock. Isn't it wrapped adorable? So it's in parchment, uh, parchment papers over it. It's from Park Hill and it's called Homemade Lemonade. Okay, the name of it, I don't like the name of it. And so sometimes I won't buy a candle just because of the name. It smells so good, and she says it burns excellent. So, and her whole store was literally, and it wasn't a small store, it was, 
It smelled so good and it was one of these candles burning. So I bought one. It was kind of expensive though, but if it burns really well, like the, sh the store, this smells just like the shop. I love it. So I'm anxious to burn it and I just love the way it's packaged. So, and when it's done, I'll just clean out the rest of the wax and keep this for like spoon holder or just whatever. So that's my little vintage haul. I could turn around and sell this for like $65. It's crazy what ironstone goes for, especially crazed ironstone.